All right, how are we doing? Hey, my friends, it's your friend, JC. We're going to make some carne asada. Torta today. So I'm going to put a little bit of cooking spray on this. It's coconut oil. Because, you know, sometimes it just tastes a little bit. Because, like I said, I'm not going to be using um, um a grill or whatever. I want to use this because I can get it done faster on this one. And I'm being right here in the house in front of my fan. Anyway, so here we go, my friends, my friends, my friends. I have it, um, it's been preheating for a little bit. From like a quick eye out a little minute. I think it's at like about 450-ish or something. Oh, I didn't even pay attention. But we're just pretending we know. But we don't, too. So I got the, the ranchero thing today. You know what's the funny thing is? I've had it explained to me several times, and I never can remember the difference. In them. Cause I know they have like three different cuts that they use, and the ranchero will be the best, supposedly. I don't know. Um, and they've explained to me, I don't know how many times, and I forget every single time. Sometimes I'll get like all three times and I just mix them all up together. Here's fun. But that's just moi, you know? Like I said, I bought it at the store done because I've been wanting these for a minute and I haven't been able to find the time to to um, get them done myself, you know, make my own um, and I saw them blow so that. So, um, I decided to just do it the quick way, do a little shortcut, show the, show the family how to do this, and then um, um, the, my next one I do, or if I make one for this period or whatever I'm going to do with the carne I'm going to make my own, and we'll do a video with that when we do it. Um, I'm not sure when I'm going to do it. If you guys want to be sooner than later, drop it down in the comment section. Leave a comment, let me know if you guys want it beforehand. Um, cause I don't know when I'm going to do it. Like I said, it's been kind of hard lately to find the time to do certain things. And, um, you know, that's one of them. Had kind of a little real busy, busy schedule. So, you know, you know how it gets sometimes. Especially now that the holidays are coming closer up now. And we're already in October already. Holy lowly, holy lowly. Um, yeah, so, um, I haven't had... Um, the time that I had, like, you know, to be to more towards the beginning of the year, um, I've oh, just gotten busier. I have a lot of things going on. Lots of, lots and lots and lots of things on the, the far, you know, so to speak. So, yeah, so I've been really busy with lots of things, and so I haven't had a chance to do that. So, I was, um, like, like a normal, regular person. And, yeah. I'm turning all the way up, all the way. So I do apologize for that. Um, and all that fun stuff, but we are gonna get this all together though. You know, part of my challenge too is not always making everything um, 100% homemade. You know, I do, I, I said, um, um, especially in my my bio dio, my bio bio, whatever. Um, I put that it was going to be, you know, um, homemade and we would be doing, you know, how red pepper, how I put it, but it was going to be a um, um, mixture of both. Um, cause you know, there are times that then just you being, um, people of the 2020s, <laughs> I mean, um, you know, times are change. Times have changed. Times change back. Times change around. Times have just change. Period. All over again. So I mean, you never know if you're coming or going anymore. But um, for the most part, like I said before, um, if I can do it homemade, fresh, or you know, mo mostly all homemade, whatever, I'd rather do. But at the same time, you have to also be realistic with things because you know you can't always just be able to do the whole. Um, um, fresh homemade thing you can't always you know just do all that you have to be able to incorporate um, you know um, things that are done for you like you know today I'm using carne salad that's been done um, I've used uh, rotisserie chicken but I haven't had time to do chicken you know um, 
you know, I, where, I usually have like um, my th my thoughts um, set and ready to go. Um, and like I said, um, sometimes I have to, sometimes I have to adjust just like everybody else does. And, and now my videos have to adjust with it because I can't um, always do it exactly how I want. I don't always have the time for that. And um, there have been times where I've sat, I've sat down and I've tried to do it like that and I pushed myself too far. I got myself really, really sick in the beginning of my channel. Like, you know, before I even launched it, um, my bad, before I even launched it. I um, had got really sick because I was doing merch and I was doing books and I was doing um, some videos and I was trying to come up with my ideas and I was trying to do um, uh, family stuff and I was trying to make sure everything was going right. I didn't want to fall back on nothing. I was working on a website. I was doing, I mean, I was doing it. Did, I was doing it. When I decided I was finally going to do it all and do it, I went face first dive 1,000 times. <laughs> You know, and just went for it. But that's how I am. That's who I am. I don't go in half cocked, half assed, half whatever you want to call it. I am. Well, my mind is made up. I'm doing something. I'm doing it, and I'm not going in partial. I'm going in all the way. And as um, ideas are coming through my mind, well, <laughs> I'm taking those ideas and I'm working them too. So you know, I can end up with a billion things going on at once, and everybody telling me, "Oh my gosh, what are you doing?" Because I am a multitasker. I've always done everything in multitasking. Even for multitasking was even a real thing. I multitasked. Um, so I don't know how to do just one thing at once. I have to do like 144 things at once. Like I, I can't just like um, not have a lot of going on. Like even like when I clean the house, I, so I'll, I'll be cleaning the house, um, running errands, cooking, um, writing uh, recipes, and doing books and. Um, uh, working on a website and um, doing family things and running here and there, doing this and that. I'm um, dealing with the animals, dealing with everything. So, you know, um, that's just how I do it. And I've always done it like that. And that way, the one thing that's nice about it a lot is um, when I'm starting to finally get everything finished, I'm finishing it all about the same time. So, like, if I was doing the house and cooking just and whatever, well, usually the cooking would be done for the house or, or maybe the house would be done cooking, but... But like, if I'm working on like several different things, as I'm finishing up um, one thing, well, I mean, mostly everything's usually about in the same stage. It depends um, how much of something I have to do. Um, other than that, as like everything works in stages with me, which I love. And so, um, yeah, I've tried doing the, people told me, oh, you know, if you do one thing, like, if you were to clean first and you did this and you did this and this, you know, you're probably getting, oh, no, 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 so. See, when I tried doing the single thing, um, not multitask, it took me, I think, three days to clean. Um, I never got around to, like, five projects, and um, nothing got completed. Everything was still, like, up in the air. Like, even after two or three days, I was still, like, no. Just work on one thing at a time. Well, no, 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 I can't. I had to work on 20 things at a time. That's just how I've always been. I mean, as long as I can remember, I've always been like that. Um, I don't, just don't to do one thing only. It has to be everything or nothing. So, like I said, um, when I'm doing stuff sometimes, I get, like, ideas in my mind. I'll get a thought, I'll get something, an idea, creative juices flowing, and all of a sudden, bam, you know? And the next thing you know, I'm working on another thing. Because I don't keep notes, and I've tried doing it. I'm really bad at that. Like, I've tried doing notes, um, doing, keeping it to a do list, uh, keeping an uh, 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 idea list. Well, I do have an idea list on some shirts and stuff that I'm, I'm making. And I, I haven't even started working on it yet. Um, I do have a list of, like, sayings that I came up with before I even dropped the channel. Um, and I've only used, I think, two or three of them so far. And I think I have, like, 20-something of them. Um, so, you know, it's just one of those things. But since I think I put too much meat down here, <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna um, go ahead and uh, not make you guys watch this anymore for right now. <laughs> um, and I'm gonna let some of this um, excess juice um, burn off and everything. I'll be back when this is more cooked down. So we have to stand right here and listen to me blah, 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 blah. And watch this meat look like we're watching um, water boil, okay? So see you guys in a few minutes, friends.
All right, guys, we're back, and <laughs> I ended up cooking almost all the meat, so uh, we're getting to the end of this part right here. Um, yeah, it started cooking when I as soon as I paused the camera, this stuff started going woo, really fast. It's like holy, 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 Molly. So we're just down to the endings of it all. Well, then we still gotta do our beans with us, but that's fine. That's, what? That's a piece of cake. Oh. Yeah, these look like these are done. Put them in our little container. Hi friends, it's me. Sorry. I ran out of um space on my device. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't realize it. I uh, forgot that um, I haven't um, been, after I've been doing my editing, I've been forgetting to take off videos. <laughs> so, all of a sudden it went bloop, and it was like, what the heck? And as soon as I looked at it, it said I had no more space left, so I had to erase some space up. So I ended up finishing up the meat. Sorry, guys. Um, the meat I put inside, the set aside already. I don't want to have it burn or do whatever as I was cleaning everything up real fast. And then now I have the beans going. Um, just waiting for them to heat up. They're just regular pinto beans. Um, I didn't add nothing special to them. I just added a little bit of, uh, of salt, just like a pinch of salt. That's it. I didn't put anything else inside of it. So we're not missing nothing. We're almost finished, but we're not missing anything. And then part of it too was like for my birthday, I had made um, I decided I wanted an ice cream cake, so I I um, made up my own, and the whole thing is my own creation, and it was a pain, and it took days to do it, and I have lots of footage on it, and uh, I've been upset because it won't let me do more than one hour of footage, um, on my editors, and I have two different editors that I use, and I pay for both of them. <laughs> And they won't let me go, one of them won't let me go past the hour. The other one I haven't had a chance to sit down and mess with yet um, to see if it'll let me do it. But the one that I used mostly, um, I figured, okay, well, this should be no problem. Why well, I loaded everything on there, but it won't go past one hour. Like once it started going over an hour, which made no sense because they said I could do up to, I think, 20, 20 hours or 16 hours or eight. I can't remember. It's something like, it's more than 12, I know that. I think it's like 20 or something. Um, and so many gigs of bytes, and it's not even nowhere close in the gigabytes, or um, it's not better than not even an hour. Like, um, it had showed that it went like an hour and twenty when I added another video onto whatever one of it the other day, and um, it went still wouldn't show past one hour. So I don't know what's going on. I need to contact them. I just haven't had a chance. <laughs> and so um, my birthday was already well a month and a half ago, and so I haven't had a chance to. Um, get that edited so I can bring it out. But I was very proud of my cake. Um, well, proud. I'll just say I was proud and disappointed. And when you guys see the video, you know why. But I mean, other than that, so yeah, so that's taking up that's taking up some space. I think it's at least ten to twelve gigs. Because I mean, just like in the first the first part of my video was like um, um almost fifty minutes or whatever. And so, yeah. So now we're going to go ahead and smash these up with us. As they're finishing heating through. I'm not adding cheese or nothing to them. Like I said, I'm just going to leave them. Just, I just added um, a pinch of salt. A pinch of coarse sea salt. That's it. Um, nothing else. I'm not putting cheese or anything like that. I usually try putting cheese inside of them and then I'll make whatever I make with them and add more cheese. I love, I am such a cheese freak. But um, I'm not doing that today. I'm just gonna go ahead and just make these. Cause this is just gonna be like, a, um, you know, when you have um, a mayo or mustard or something like that on your sandwich. That's what this is basically like used for. I mean, that's what I, 
I, I've seen people put it on thicker. Um, some people do like it with the beans and everything. I like to have it just as a, as like a condiment. So I'm taking it simple. Now, I'm going to turn it off. And I do have some juice set aside just in case I need it. But I probably won't. I love this thing. This is what I thought it was, what it was for when I first bought it. I thought I was done when someone told me that's not what it was for. It was ground beef. Okay, well, whatever. I'll use it for whatever I want. Thank you. I chopped my olives up with it, my whole olives. I chopped my bananas. I mean, I mashed my bananas with it. I'll um, mash my my potatoes. I mashed my beans. I mashed... I use, this, I use this for a lot of different things. Like, this is so handy. Like, if you... If I only needed... If I only have a couple of tools in the kitchen to be able to use for the rest of my life just give me a butcher's knife <laughs> give me this and give me a couple of spoons be able to, uh, um, as fast as I can be able to um, turn things over or just a fork it doesn't matter um, I'll be happier than a hog getting some woo 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 if um, you know I had to be able to choose just a couple of gizmos and gadgets gizmos and gadgets um, I would be in heaven because I don't need much because I have my one certain things that I mean, even my um my dough scraper, that one I use that for so many things too, like my dough scraper, my apple, the apple core cutter thinger. You know, you put the whole apple underneath it and you press it down and it takes out the core and it, um, cuts the apples and slices. I do all kinds of things with that thing, with this thing, and my dough um my dough scraper cutter whatever it's called. Um, yeah, that's it. Those those three things. Oh God, I don't need nothing else. I don't even need a knife because of them. So I mean, just put me, put set me down and let me go. All right, so I'm gonna see you guys over at the workstation in one second. Let me go move us over there and take the beans. I need to set down something so I don't run the counter. So I'll see you guys in one moment, my friends. All right, guys, we are back. So what I need to do is okay. So I have our condiments right here. I have sour cream from America. Sour cream from Mexican. Our meats. So, what I'm gonna do is we're fast. Get some of the meat. Okay. Well, we're gonna rock. We're rocking and shocking. We're rocking. We're shocking. We're rocking. <clears throat> and then we're gonna go ahead and. I usually try to line it up some. This ain't gonna work right, right now. I think I'm about to sharpen my knife real fast, but we'll do that in a minute. I'm gonna just gonna tear this up real fast. Our hands were made for something. Our hands came before there was a such thing called fork, spoons, and knives. Sporks, chopsticks. You know, we had hands first, so let's just do the hands real fast. Don't jazz hands today, sweeties. We're gonna call them man hands for eating. But, anyways, not jazz hands. They're gonna be um, survival hands. Against the grain. Yep. I was going against the grain, so it wasn't gonna cut right for me right now. I I need to sharpen my knife anyway, so it doesn't matter. So 
So let's go ahead and just keep this up going because this is going to be not that bad. I can take this fat off. It's okay. Oh, that's a good one. Sorry. I can chew. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know about anybody else, but I know for me, I do not like meat fat. I don't like the fat of an anything, but in your period, but it tastes so gross. I think it tastes gross. A lot of people like it. And that's good for them. I'm happy for them. I don't. I never have. It's always made. It's always like irked me, jerked me, smarked me, smarked me, and made me just bleh, geek out. But yeah, every time I try to do this stuff, sometimes <laughs> I always end up losing my hands all over again. I mean, you know, hands were once upon a time shovels before there were service shovels and, you know, hoes and forks, and knives and spoons, and probably even plates. Not that it wasn't too hot, as you were just used to it. Oh, yeah, that's too rough. bread right here, the one I cut funny earlier. So we're going to go ahead and get some of the beans. Oh my goodness, what did I... I was going to say, I could have swore, I guess I was thinking it, but I didn't do it. I was going to put this baby in the sink and just use a spoon. But apparently, I didn't get this, the thing out, so. So, we're gonna do about a tablespoon or so, is what it looks like it might be. Just a guess in it. So, what makes it. I think it's easier just to get a spatula, just rub it over it fast. And trying to use the spoon with the back end. Especially like how this one and how I cut it all funny, remember? I, this is the one I said was, was going to be mine because I cut it funny. Well, yeah, so. It's easier to use this instead of having to pick it up and use a spoon and everything else. So I just put it down like this. Okay. That goes to that one. So then we're going to go ahead and... gonna get some avocados and it's fine if I use too much right now because I have some more. but I'm not gonna do that many there we go and then I'm going to do my hands clean again some lettuce no I'm gonna do cheese first so then we got the cheese This isn't my favorite cheese, so this one I do go all oh, by ball. Okay, there we go. And then I'm gonna do some lettuce. Some lettuce. Then I'm gonna put some meat. Hmm. Good, good, good. Now I want crema. So I'm going to my my handy damn piece of well. Stir it up. And we're going to sprinkle it or run it, drip it, drill it, and drizzle it. Whatever it's called, whatever you want to call it. Mm -hmm. Usually I like to get in and just do a whole um, waterfall. <laughs> There we go. Put the lid on it. Pow poo, pow poo, pow poozle. Then cut it. 
Now I'm using a paper plate. I didn't even think about it when I did this right now. Um, I got the wrong side, hold on. Anyway, so, here we go. So we have, our sandwich basically, some of it fell off or whatever. Yeah, that's the There it is. So here's our sandwich. Bon appetit, my friends. Mmm. Oh my gosh, it is so much better than if we went to a restaurant. Way much better than if we went to a restaurant. So, this is better than restaurant style. Don't take that long to do it. And you can always add whatever else you want inside of it. Mmm, I love it. So friends, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you guys take the time out and make this. Surprise your family. Instead of buying them from the um, the Mexican restaurants and everything, surprise everybody. Make them yourself. Um, it's cheaper if you do things like that. Anyways, I mean, you can make these. <laughs> you can make so many of these. It's not funny. Um, everybody's probably gonna have them right now, and then probably want them for our lunch. Tomorrow, breakfast. I don't know. I'll probably end up making a bunch. I'll be done doing it. But until next time, my friends, it's your friend, JC, signing off. Remember, there's nothing you can't do in the kitchen. It's okay to play with our food. And it's okay just to have fun, make things together, and just enjoy your family and friends. Until next video. I am going to be signing off. It's your friend JC, and I will be seeing you soon. Take care. Remember, don't forget to like, subscribe, turn on the notification bell, and share. And leave me a comment. If there's anything you guys want me to make, do, or anything, um, or just say hi. Let me know how you're doing. And I will respond to you. And until next time, guys, talk to you later. Bye.